2023 Land Rover Range Rover Review, Upper Crust All-Roading. The big-body, full-size 2023 Range Rover started the luxury SUV segment in 1969. Since then, it spawned a few other Ranger Rover models, but this is the fifth generation of the original launched in the USA in 2022. For decades, it had a segment all to itself, competing with more traditional luxury cars like the BMW 7 Series and Mercedes-Benz S-Class. Since then, most high-end manufacturers have joined the club, so a quick review of the Land Rover Range Rover's competitors reveals that it occupies the space between cheaper rivals such as the BMW X7 and Mercedes-Benz GLS, and more expensive ones such as the Bentley Bentayga and Rolls-Royce Cullinan. The new 2023 Land Rover Range Rover SUV with the L460 model code had to move to the brand new MLA Flex platform to accommodate new mild hybrid and plug-in hybrid powertrains and the upcoming 2024 EV model. For the first time, the Land Rover Range Rover is available in two sizes right from the start of production. Another first is the seven-seat option for the long wheelbase. But don't think the Range Rover has gone soft. Land Rover used its extensive knowledge of luxury off-roading to make this Range Rover the best one yet. A variety of powertrain options are available. You can get a turbocharged straight-six with mild hybrid assistance or a plug-in hybrid based on the same engine. The current top dog is a BMW-sourced 4.4-liter twin-turbocharged V8. 2023 Land Rover Range Rover changes, what's the difference versus the 2022 Range Rover? The new model was introduced last year, so there are no significant changes to the 2023 Range Rover. At first, Land Rover called it the new Range Rover because it was initially sold alongside the previous generation L405 model. The L405 has now been discontinued, so there is only one Range Rover once more, with no distinction between generations. When it was introduced, the PHEV was not yet available, it has now joined the range as a 2023 model, but in base SWB SE guys only. There is also a new flagship trim called the SV that comes in the SV Signature Suite configuration with only four seats, the highest level of luxury and comfort, and extensive customizability options. Above even the SV is the ultra-exclusive SV Carmel Edition, with only 17 units each priced at a staggering $345,000. Its highlights include 23-inch diamond turned wheels, Liberty blue front seats with caraway rear contrast seats, and the opulent four-seater configuration. Power-assisted doors that can be controlled via the infotainment system are also now available. Apparently, some of last year's off-road features will soon no longer be standard and will instead be included in a new optional advanced off-road capability package, but Land Rover has not provided details or pricing for it yet. Since the launch year is over, first edition trims won't be produced in 2023. What's the price of the 2023 Land Rover Range Rover? The rather complicated price structure of the new 2023 Land Rover Range Rover starts at an MSRP of $106,500 for the SWB SEP $400 and $112,500 for the 7-seater LWB SEP 400. The SWB SCP 440 EPHEV will cost you $110,500 and the V8 SWB SCP 530, $129,000. The Autobiography P530 has an MSRP of $166,000 in SWB form, $168,000 in 7-seater LWB form, and $170,000 in 5-seater LWB form. The SVP530 costs $201,500 in SWB form and $226,500 in 5-seater LWB form. These prices don't include optional extras or the $1,475 destination charge. The 2023 SV Carmel Edition was introduced later and retails for a jaw-dropping $345,000, but a mere 17 units were said to be produced. 2023 Range Rover Exterior Throughout five generations, Land Rover was careful to retain the Range Rover's unmistakable profile and it can be recognized immediately by its floating roof, flat hood, and blacked-out glasshouse, even if the classic castellated hood has been toned down significantly. 
The latest shape has been smoothed out, with extremely clean surfacing and almost nothing to interrupt the design, not even door handles, they are recessed and only deploy when needed. Even the wheel arches feature the subtlest of creasing with nothing to break the flow. The somewhat controversial rear is a break from tradition, with the taillights hidden behind smoked black vertical lenses, linked at their tops by a full-width black bar containing the Range Rover script. All trims have front and rear fog lights. SIG trims get premium LED headlights with signature DRLs and all other trims feature upgraded Pixel LED headlights. SIG trims with six-cylinder engines run on 21-inch alloy wheels and tires and all V8s get 22-inch items in varied styles. Various 22 and 23-inch wheel options are optionally available. A gesture-controlled power tailgate and sliding panoramic sunroof are standard equipment on all trims. Grill and lower bumper treatment vary by trim, with SV and autobiography trims getting more bright work. Dimensions The exterior dimensions of the Land Rover Range Rover show what a big SUV it is. Even the SWB model has a length of 198.9 inches, a width of 86.97 inches including the mirrors, 80.59 inches with them folded, a height of 73.62 inches, and a wheelbase of 118 inches. With standard electronic air suspension, maximum ground clearance is a very impressive 11.6 inches, with maximum approach, departure, and breakover angles of 34.7, 29, and 27.7 degrees, respectively, and a maximum weighting depth of 35.4 inches. Due to its sheer size, even the lightest P400 SWB model has a weight of 5,240 pounds. The V8 SWB models are heavier, with the autobiography and SV weighing in at 5,530 pounds. The heaviest of all is the PHEV six-cylinder SWB at 5,940 pounds. The LWB model stretches the Range Rover's overall length and wheelbase to 207 inches and 126 inches, respectively, with weight increasing to 5,600 pounds, for the P400 with seven seats, and the breakover angle coming in at 25.2 degrees, all other measurements are unchanged. With the P530 powertrain, the LWB Range Rover can weigh up to 5,840 pounds. 2023 Range Rover Interior the interior of the Land Rover Range Rover took another step up in style, tech, comfort, and the quality of the materials when the fifth generation launched last year. It's extremely well insulated from extraneous noises as well and, once you're ensconced inside the rangey, very little noise and vibration reach the occupants. Superbly finished natural materials abound, but sustainable materials are available as well. The interior can be decked out in various styles and colors, with themes similar to the exterior ones available inside as well. The SV brings with it a host of additional customization options. The style is minimalist, with very few buttons on the dashboard, save for the ones for the climate control, and the center stack is dominated by a large landscape-style touchscreen display, situated beneath a discreet horizontal vent bar. The technology is not always easy to master, and there's a lot of it. The climate control also seems to struggle a little to cope on hot days, especially with a car full of people. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.